Story friends, I'm Miss Vivian and welcome to Storytime. For today's program, I have stories about characters who love to smile. They love to smile when they meet new people, when they're dreaming of something special, or even when they just say hello. Before I share stories, let's start with our morning song. First, find your feet way down there. Good. Next, find your shoulders. Find your ears. Find your nose. Blink, 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 blink. And find your head right at the top. Very good. Now let's begin. Wake up feet, wake up feet, wake up feet, and we'll stomp, stomp, stomp. Wake up feet, wake up feet, wake up feet in the morning. Wake up shoulders, wake up shoulders, wake up shoulders, and we'll tap, tap, tap. Wake up shoulders, wake up shoulders, wake up shoulders in the morning. Wake up ears, wake up ears, wake up ears and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up ears, wake up ears, wake up ears in the morning. Wake up nose, wake up nose, wake up nose and we'll tap, tap, tap. Wake up nose, wake up nose, wake up nose in the morning. Wake up head, wake up head, wake up head, and we'll pat, pat, pat. Wake up head, wake up head, wake up head in the morning. Very good library friends. Now let's sing head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, Knees and toes, way down there. Very good. Let's sing the song two times. Two times. Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears, the mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears, the mouth and nose, wink. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Very good library friends. Now on to our first story. With permission from Macmillan Publishers, I am very happy to, to share. How do you say? Como se dice? Written and illustrated by Angela Dominguez. And here, what do you think this is? Now, these are prints. Now, which animal do you think you would find these prints on? Could it be a, you guessed it, a giraffe. And how many do you see? Will you count with me? One, two. Can you bring up two fingers? Here we go. One, two. Good job. Ooh. Ah. Food. Comida. Delicious. Sabrosa. Hello. Hola. Good day. Buenos dias. Water. 
Arwa. Happy. Feliz. Friends? Amigos? And together they say, Okay! And they're both very happy. With really big smiles too. Can you, can you make a really big smile? Good job, library friends. Party! Fiesta! Now on this page, you could count all of the balloons. Shall we count the balloons together? Okay, let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 balloons, and you could also name the colors. You can name them in English, or you can name them in Spanish. You can even count the balloons in Spanish, or in another language, too. Oh, after all the party fun, that Fiesta. <laughs> and that's the end of, how do you say, como se dice, written and illustrated by Angela Dominguez. Thank you, library friends. And here I have with me a library friend named Mouse. Mouse, can you say hello to our library friends? Squeak, 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 squeak. Hi, library friends. Now let's sing a song together. Okay, Mouse, you stay right here. And here's Mouse with a big smile, a really big smile. Can you show us a really big smile? Very good, library friends. Now let's sing a song called, If You're Happy and You Know It. All right, here we go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your faith will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Way down there, stomp, 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 stomp. Very good. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your faith will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, shout hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, shout hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, shout hooray! Very good library friends. And thank you, Mouse. Can you wave the bye-bye to our library friends? See you next time, Mouse. Now on to our next story. With permission from Chronicle Books, I'm very happy to share with you tomorrow, most likely, written by Dave Eggers and illustrated by Lane Smith. In this story, this child loved to dream of what good things might happen.
tomorrow most likely. Oh, looks like the child's getting ready for bed. Tomorrow most likely, there will be a sky and chances are it will be blue. Tomorrow, most likely, there will be a squirrel. And chances are his name is Stu. Oh, Stu looks very happy, library friends. What is Stu holding? Take a look. What do you think it is? Yes, it's a nut. This type of nut is called a peanut. Tomorrow, most likely, there will be a meal. And chances are, it will be brown. And here's a box. It says, puffs. Tomorrow, most likely, there will be a door that leads to the world. where people are found. Tomorrow, most likely, there will come a song through the half-open window of a slow-moving car. What's your favorite song, library friends? Tomorrow, most likely, there will be a plane flying high and white and fast and far. Tomorrow, most likely. Looks like this child's having a great time. Tomorrow, most likely, something won't rhyme. Tomorrow, most likely, you'll touch a bright bug green and red, and looking at you. Tomorrow, most likely, the bug will seem worried. He's missing a friend. His friend's name is Stu. Hmm. Tomorrow, most likely, you'll smell the good smell of an unseen flower you can't quite name. Tomorrow, most likely, you'll pick up a stone striped like a spider or maybe a brain. Tomorrow, most likely, you'll see something strange. You'll hear something odd. You'll touch something gooey. You'll meet Cousin Todd. You might ride a whale. Does that look like fun, library friends? Oh, this child's very happy about that. You could eat a cloud. A cloud? <laughs> oh, the child took a really big bite out of that cloud. You might write a song and sing it too loud. There are mountains of time and oceans of faces, canyons of color and skies full of places. Tomorrow most likely will be a great day because you are in it. And Stu is okay. And that's the end of Tomorrow Most Likely, written by Dave Eggers, 
and illustrated by Lane Smith. <laughs> Thank you, library friends. Now, library friends, will you name this shape with me? Children, children, what do you see? I see, let's see. It has four sides. One, one, two, three, four. This is called a square. Can you say the word square? Square. Okay, this is a square. Children, children, what do you see? I see a yellow square looking at me. Children, children, what do you see? I see a... A red square looking at me. Children, children, what do you see? I see a blue square looking at me. And will you count the squares with me? Count with me. One, two, three. Very good. Now say the num the colors with me, please. I see a yellow square. I see a red square. And I see a blue square. Very good. Oh, library friends, let's see. What's behind the blue square? Let's count to three. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, what can this be? This is called keys. Good. Let's see if there's something behind the red square. Here we go. Let's count to three. One, two, three. Here we go. These are called carrots. And this carrot has a smiley face. <laughs> now let's see what's behind the yellow square. <gasps> now this one is called a Bell pepper, very good. And bell peppers grow up, carrots grow down, and the peas, well, pea vines grow around and around. Very good, one more time. Bell peppers grow up, carrots grow down, and the pea vines grow around and around. Very good library friends. Now let's say bye-bye to our vegetables. Bye-bye vegetables. Now on to our last story. With permission from Macmillan Publishers, I'm very happy to share with you, Be Kind. Written by Pat Zitlow Miller and illustrated by Jen Hill. In this story, there's a child who, who did something in class and all the, other, all the other friends started laughing at her and she didn't feel good. But there's one person who decided to be kind. Be kind. Tanisha spilled grape juice yesterday. Oh, what color is grape juice? 
It's the color purple. Very good, library friends. All over her new dress. Everyone laugh. I almost did too, but mom always tells me to be kind, so I try. And if you look at Tanisha, she is not smiling. She's feeling embarrassed. Let's see if she feels better at the end. I don't think it worked. I said, purple is my favorite color. I thought Tanisha would smile, but she ran into the hall instead. When she came back, Snack time was over. She put on her art smock and didn't look at anyone. Tanisha was still feeling embarrassed. She's really feeling really bad. I almost told Tanisha that art was my favorite class, but I didn't want her to leave again. So I painted purple splotches and added some green until I had a bunch of beautiful violets. While I painted, I thought about Tanisha. Should I have handed her my napkin? Let her borrow my sweatshirt? Spilled my juice so everyone stared at me instead? What does it mean to be kind anyway? Maybe it's giving. Making cookies for Mr. Rinaldi, who lives alone. Letting someone with smaller feet have my too tight shoes. He might win races in them too. Maybe it's helping, putting dirty dishes in the sink. Cleaning up after Otis, our class guinea pig. He's a messy eater. Baby is paying attention, telling Desmond I like his blue boots, asking the new girl to be my partner, listening to Aunt Franny's stories, even the ones I've heard before. What do you think, library friends? Do you think these are acts of kindness? Let's keep going. Being kind should be easy like throwing away a wrapper or recycling a bottle or saying, thank you. Bless you. My mom says the quickest way to be kind is to use people's names. Hey, Carla. What's new, Omar? Good afternoon, Rabbi Mandelbaum. Being kind can be hard too, even when you know what to do. Teaching someone something I'm good at is tricky, even when I'm patient. Uh-oh. And sticking up for someone when other kids aren't kind is really hard and really scary. Maybe I can't solve Tanisha's grape juice problem Maybe all I can do is sit by her in art class and paint this picture for her because I know she likes purple too. Maybe I can only do small things, but my small things might join small things other people do. And together, they could grow into something big. And here they're knitting. It starts off as something small and it's gonna get bigger and bigger. Something really big, so big that all our kindness is spilled out of our school, spread throughout town Travel across the country. Welcome home. 
and go all the way around the world. Right back to Tanisha and me. So we can be kind again. Welcome back. And again. And again. And Tanisha loved it so much that when she got home, she put it up on her wall. What a beautiful act of kindness. And that's the end of Be Kind, written by Pat Zietlow Willer, Pat Zietlow Miller, and illustrated by Jen Hill. Once again, this is Be Kind by Pat Zitlow Miller and illustrated by Jen Hill. Thank you, library friends. And let's sing another song. This is a popular song and I love how our little twinkle star has a big smile. Shall we sing this song together? Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Yay! Very good, library friends. And before we go, let's sing one more song. Hands up. Bring your hands up. Good. And let's sing, this is the way we wash our hands. Wash our hands. Wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands all day long. This is the way we shake our hands, shake our hands, shake our hands. This is the way we shake our hands all day long. This is the way we clap our hands, clap our hands, clap our hands. This is the way we clap our hands all day long. Hooray, library friends! If you're interested in checking out any of these stories, please visit our website at eglendalac.org. And if you're interested in more virtual programs or other activities, or if you'd like to visit the library, please visit our website with all of our library locations, our addresses, and open hours. Thank you again for joining me today, and take care.